I'm here with Mike and Jamie, who is obviously expecting. She is 36 weeks along, and it's the perfect time for them to get their car seat installed in the car, and we're gonna do some harnessing practice as well. They're gonna kick it off by figuring it out themselves first, and then I'm gonna come in and help you get it just right. Good, because we need help. This. You need help. How are you feeling about it? Uh, nervous, but excited. Yeah, it's gonna ready, be awesome. Ready to get going. Ready to do it. So here we go. Couple engineers should be able to figure this out. Where'd it go? Oh, it's up there. <laughs> All right, so. Oh. Maybe these go on like the base? I think it's just for oh, this if is a smaller. low birth weight pillow. Yeah. Okay. We don't know yet. Okay. I think everything clips in. Well, I think we got to take the car seat out probably to get it in the car. Mm -hmm. How do you get it out? Let's press that button. No. Okay. okay. <laughs> get in there. Does this come with a manual? Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, look, Mike. Are you going to look at the pictures? Yeah. <laughs> Base installation. This is just like a... Okay. Hold on, I got the manual. Men don't read manuals. Mm-hmm. We're going to have to redo this. Are there instructions right on it? I think we're good. That's it? No. -uh. Yeah. I'm going to read the manual. Oh, here's that shoulder pad. These are shoulder pads. Okay. So this this goes on the thing. Thing. Crotch pad. It's all after. Yeah. This is the crotch oh, later. pad. Yeah. Okay. It's all part of this. Oop. I think we're ready. I clip, think you're full of crap. Clip it in. That's it. I don't, wait, what? That's it. No way. I don't believe you. It's like moving. There's no way that's Mike. The kid's gonna go flying around. It doesn't even have the thing down. Look. <laughs> There's a whole piece that goes down to the floor. If you need it. I think you need it. Can we please read the instructions? Oh. This is the this is the base we have. R-E-L-X base installation using rigid latch. So there's a, I think my car has like the clips. Mm. See, you didn't even let me look at the car. See? Let's take it out. There you go. Mm -hmm. So, rotate rigid latch, lower anchors down and point them away from the base. There you go, like this. Then they clip in. Yeah. Position, position base in a forward-facing vehicle seat with the stability leg deployed if using. Do we have one of those? Mm -hmm. So put, pull it out. I'm assuming we want to use that. It's recommended you use the stability leg, which reduces crass crash forces in the event of an accident. Okay. If preferred, preferred install rigid latch guides on vehicle. Oh, we already have those that came built in. Oh wait, no, that's these. So we can put these in. So 
somehow. Does it need them? I don't know. I, think I mean, it looks like they go in. These might just clip. Yeah, they're in. I don't yeah. know if we need them though, because mine already has. It's like my car has built in ones. Okay, let's try. Let's take them out for now. Because this just shows the bars with mm -hmm. no like support around it. I don't think we. Yeah. Push down and forward. Okay, green Be light. Be sure the base bottom is firmly seated on vehicle seating surface and there's no gap between the base bottom and vehicle seat. Yep. Okay. You got a green light? Mm-hmm. On both? Yep. Okay, now. Um, the rigid latch must be attached and locked into vehicle anchor bars with the indicator showing green. Mm -hmm. Is there something in my floor? This bar. There's a bar down there? There's, yeah. I can't see. Oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. Is there anything under this mat though? No. Oh, it's just, okay. Okay. Test the security of the installation near the rigid latch, not at the end of the base or seat. So back here. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Should it go side to side? Yeah, so those little brackets are four. No. That's probably all right. Recline one is two is for four to 20 pounds, so that's what we use first. Decline two. So we were at four. One. What do you mean we're at four? It's kind of illuminated. Oh, so how do you change that? Oh, well. Just we're at two or one? One. One. Okay. Good it says one and two, but. Okay. Slide on the face, release the button. If the button does not pop back up, it's not locked. Did it pop up? It's locked. Okay. Releasing. Oh, so I guess you can put it in? Okay, now we'll, we'll go. Attaching child restraint. Hmm. Listen kinda, for a click. Kind of foolproof. I think we're there. I think that's it. All right, so we're gonna go through everything, make sure that, you know, the install is proper, but just like, tell me about the process. You guys have never touched a car seat before, right? Nope. And nope. like, what was your approach? Uh, wing it wing it throw it in there throw it in there and it's It'll done fit. and i am let's read the instructions and do it properly and how did the winging it work did, it? did not work he put it in it, with a seat belt and it started moving everywhere it is acceptable method a seat belt can be an acceptable method that it's is not a true the preferred statement. um it certainly can not be when you have the latches right so in the car seat world, you can use a vehicle seat belt or you can use lower anchor connectors. This seat's a little bit different because it actually allows the use of both if you want to add the seat belt, but because you have rigid lower anchor connectors, it's an advanced safety feature. So you definitely want to use it. Why did you pick to put it behind the driver's seat? Um, so when we, at our house, we have to back in and you can't access the passenger side of the vehicle. So when we take the baby in and out, I'll have to be on the driver's side. Good thinking, yeah. Thinking about like where you park, how you load in and out is super important. Is your seat back where it is? Yeah, that's set for me to drive normally. Okay, yeah, good. Cause we don't ever want this seat. So if you go back further, we never want the seat to be pushing on the vehicle seat. Okay, okay. so just keep that in mind. So when he drives it, it would have to. Yeah. So that's why a lot of times you see people put it behind the passenger, which doesn't work for you all. He rarely drives this. Yeah. So just be conscious of that if that were to happen. But let's pop the carrier off. You guys know how to do that? Um, let's give that a try. No. no? Okay, so you're gonna come down here and there's a little handle right there. Oh. And then you're gonna pull the seat out. There goes baby. It's very light. Mm -hmm. It is very light. Okay. So a couple of things unique to this uh, car seat in general, and with any car seat, you always want to read your manual. So kudos to uh, following the manual because it can't be like a wing it situation as much as like 
we get a blender, we can throw the manual away, even though the blender people would tell us we need to read it. With a car seat, this is literally a life-saving device. It's not only how we're gonna keep your baby safe in a car crash, sorry, Mike, um, <laughs> but it's also how we're gonna keep your baby breathing because we've gotta be in the proper recline angle in order to keep their head back and their airway open because they don't neck control. So it really is like, I hate to say it this way, but it really is a matter of life and death, like how you install and properly harness in a car seat. So you guys are learning it. That's the great news. Uh, okay, so you use the rigid lower anchor connectors. That's one of the key features on this particular base. The other one is the load leg, which is also an added safety feature. I noticed at first that that was not making an appearance, but then yeah. um, through the, you know, by reading the manual and figuring it out, you guys got it in play. It really is a lovely feature to have. And because you have rigid lower anchors, um, you would have to use an outboard seat either way because you don't have lower anchors in the middle seat. Okay. So the, um, the rigid lower anchors are good. You've got them with the, where they turned green. And then if, when you're ready to take them out, you would pop it here and pull it out, right? This serves as an anti-rebound bar, another really great safety feature, meaning the seat, when you have a rebound bar and a load leg, and you're with, if you're in a crash, it means the seat does less of this. So it's less movement. Less movement's always better. Recline angle, saw you all reading the manual on this. Um, you know, we're gonna shift the recline angle and we're gonna start because baby's gonna be itty bitty on positions one and two, which is where you guys had it. When you put that carrier in, you could see the recline angle and you can actually change it while the carrier is on here if you needed to, but position one's a great one to have it in. So you did the test for tightness as well, I believe. So it's by where the rigid lower anchors are, you kind of give the seat a shimmy. You can see that all it's doing is shifting on yeah. the lower anchor connector itself. So it's nice and tightly installed. And then when you put the carrier in, I think Mike, you noticed this too. It was a little bit, it felt like it was a little shaky on top of the base. That's okay as long as when you pull the carrying handle up, it's locked. Okay. okay, so a little bit of like shimmy. So let's put that back on here. Let me show you just so you don't worry about it. It's often a concern for new parents, it's super common. All right, so angle feet first. It's all right, feet first. Yeah, I don't even know where it goes. It's all right. This is why we're practicing, right? Oh. There you go. So does it matter what position this handle is in after the baby is in the, the car seat? So you're gonna wanna look in your manual for what the approved positions are. Every car seat has different rules on whether they're required positions or any position is fine. This one is definitely an approved position for this car seat. So now let's go practice some harnessing because that's the other thing that I think happens is you know to install the base, right? You know you gotta have a car seat in the car in order to get baby home, but I'm gonna assume because you've never touched a car seat installation process before that you've also never practiced harnessing a baby in. No, that's true. true statement, which is very, very common. Like how, why would you have practiced? Why would you know? But we're gonna do that and it's gonna be a game changer for you when you leave the hospital because guess who's gonna be in charge of it? So Mike, we're giving you the job in the hospital of making sure that your newborn son or daughter is safe from the very first ride. It really is like all jokes aside, it's a really important responsibility. And while mom's doing all the responsibilities that she has, it's something that you can be solely in charge of. So I think it's a game changer to practice before you're actually practicing with your human child Absolutely. for the first time. <laughs> so have you ever harnessed a baby Never. in before? Okay, so this is good stuff. This is, this is what it's all about. I hope everybody who's watching like learns from this and takes the time to buckle either in, we're gonna buckle in a baby doll because we have one. You could use a teddy bear, you could borrow your friends kid just you know ask them first <laughs> but you know anything that you can do to practice getting to know the harness before you're actually doing it with your child is i would almost guarantee gonna save your marriage <laughs> okay it may not it may not save a marriage but it's gonna definitely ensure that you guys won't fight about it on the way out so we're gonna put this handle back in what's called the stabilizing position because when you're buckling in your baby we don't need it to be like rocking around so you're gonna push the there's a button here that you're gonna push in mm -hmm. and there's the same one on the other side so once you push those in you can easily rotate the handle okay. we're gonna have it go all the way back to the ground and that way you can see it's like you know gonna be much easier to put the baby in so I'm gonna walk you through the steps, okay? okay? You hold your baby. Your baby's gonna be smaller than this. Mm -hmm. So this is a good start. Does it feel funny to like hold a <laughs> baby doll a little bit? Yeah, I know. It's getting real. Oh. When you start using the car seat, it starts to get yes. real. This is the chest clip, okay? You're gonna 
unbuckle it. We're going to get the harness ready to put baby in. You're going to okay. unbuckle it here, crotch buckle, push down, take these out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, in order to loosen these harness straps so that we can get your baby in, there is a button that is down right here. Okay. So pass your baby to mama. <laughs> Stick your finger in there and push that lever down. You feel it? Mm -hmm. Now take these straps and pull them out. Okay. Perfect. So that's how you loosen it. Okay. okay. Now when it's time to tighten it, I want you to pull that strap. Okay. Got it? Mm -hmm. Loosen, tighten. Okay. If you push this and pull this at the same time, is it going to work? No. No, it is no. not. So one or the other, whether you're loosening or tightening. Okay. So when you're getting your baby in, you obviously want to keep it loose. This seat, uh, you have these fancy little magnets right here. So you can take that and there's a magnet that holds it to the side for Ooh. you. Yes, cool. lovely, right? Okay, for this seat too, you see these harness straps? Mm -hmm. Or the, This is where the harness straps come out of here and the shoulder height position on a newborn baby, on any baby, is critically important. The straps have to be just at or right below the shoulders. So it's like wrapping around like a bra strap. Okay. I realize you don't know what that feels like, but you can understand <laughs> the concept. <laughs> So the shoulder harness strap position will change over time. To change that position, you're going to lift this little, see this little handle back here? Mm -hmm. You're going to pull it up or down, oh, and that's what changes the shoulder height position. You're going to do it until it like locks in one of the places. This is something that after your baby is born, you're going to have to adjust, okay? okay? Because we're going to guess mm -hmm. that we think it's going to be at the lowest setting, but you may need to shift it a little bit after baby's born. All right, we've got an insert in here as well. Typically for this particular seat, once the child reaches 11 pounds, you take this out. All car seats are gonna have different weight limits on their infant inserts. Just make sure you know what yours is. 11 pounds, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have these safety stickers as well. I'll link them in the description below. You all can list like the key details that I'm telling you to remember right now, but you aren't gonna remember right. when you're in the throes of newborn <laughs> life. And we can stick it on the side of the seat so you can remember. Perfect. All right, so let's practice buckling your baby in. So grab your little one, Mike, you got this. All right, you're gonna put her in the seat, yep. and. You're, when you're actually handling your baby, you're gonna obviously be able to know how to handle her a little bit differently. Mm -hmm. So you're always gonna wanna provide neck support because okay. she doesn't, she can't hold her head up, mm -hmm. right? She's still, she's a little squish. And then you're gonna have to help position her body in just like you did. We want her back completely flush against the back of the car seat, okay? So now you don't know where this goes yet because mm -hmm. we haven't put her, her straps around her shoulders. So pull her straps up over each shoulder Perfect. And then pull your little crotch buckle off and you're going to take this part. Her knee seems, <laughs> we got to turn her knee a little. All right. So then you're going to buckle that in. So you do your side. You got it. I'm going to do this side. All right. So now you have the harness like in basic position, but obviously we have like a ton of slack, right? So how do we get that slack out? Pull this. Yeah, you pull that. So pull it a bit. You're doing great. There you go. Okay. So now you can kind of like see what you're working with mm -hmm. at least. We're going to push these guys way back. And these pads on this seat are actually optional. And sometimes for newborn babies, I take them off because they can either be really bulky or they can be hard to get a tight harness fit. So we're going to leave them on for now. They're perfectly safe to use on, but like I said, they're optional. So you can make that call okay. before your first ride, but don't get rid of them. Put them in the hospital bag. Mm -hmm. so you, like, don't get rid of them. All right. We're going to buckle the chest clip. Now here's what everybody misses, but you're not going to. There's always slack down here. Okay. Because we either just don't see it or we don't know to look for it. That's mm -hmm. what I did. What happens if there's slack down here, baby slides forward, chin goes to chest. Mm -hmm. We cut off the airway. Did that scare you enough to not yes. do it? Perfect. So you kind of only need to hear that or see it once, and then you understand why a tight harness is so critically important. So you're going to pull up between the crotch buckle and the chest clip. So go ahead and do that. Try to pull up there. So evenly put your hands behind both, pull up, and then push that crotch buckle like in towards their body. Perfect. Now give it like a yank. I want that thing tight. 
Okay, now while you hold that, pull this up. Good. You may need to shimmy that down. Nice work, because a lot of times people just jack it up into the neck and it happens, you're gonna do it at some point. Now do that same thing again. Pull up in between the chest clip and the crotch buckle. Get that slack out. You're doing great. Good. All right, so we feel pretty good down here. Yep. Yes. Looks nice and tight. The final step is to wiggle this chest clip up. Oh, you're gonna do that too. You're gonna be wiggling it up and hit it in their face oh. like I just did. <laughs> Hopefully not the first time, but it's gonna happen. It's a new seat, so it's like nice mm, and stiff. Nice yeah. and tight. All right, you're gonna get up at armpit level, and then we're gonna check back here that those shoulder straps are coming at or just below the shoulders. Mm -hmm. Reach back there for me. You see too, they're coming from pretty far below, low. right? Yes. Yeah, so we're gonna attempt to move it up one and see if that still makes it below the shoulder. So now see how we did. Is that better? It's right in line. Yeah. yeah, and if you're not sure, raise it again and check, and then you can always lower it back down, but that's the right shoulder strap position. The pinch test is this. So you're gonna see if you can pinch any slack here. If you can't, then the harness is tight, assuming mm -hmm. that it's also tight down here, mm -hmm. okay? So that's how you buckle in your baby. Okay. Now, take her out. Mm. You can do either one first. Practicing with a doll, a teddy bear or something, it's something that everybody should do before you have your baby. Do you feel like after doing this once, and what do you think you have to do this about 10 more times? Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on, yeah, for sure. There's a lot of stuff going on, yeah. Um, you got it, push that down, pull these out. Use your fancy things, since you have them. Okay. And then you're gonna get your baby out. You did it, Dad! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Mm -hmm. <laughs> is, well, it is a fake. This doll. is impressive. Yeah. There's a lot to it. There's a lot to it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you feel confident that you can, like, is there anything about it that's made you nervous? No. Uh, just needs to do it several times. Yeah. With, with the, be a little bit more comfortable and. I can Faster totally see a shift. It's like giving me goosebumps because yeah. I can totally see a shift in you from installing out there to like how real it is when you mm -hmm. do this. It like gets me a little bit teary <laughs> watching him do it because it does become really real and you realize the responsibility that you have right. of putting your child in this seat. And the other side of that is it's, it's a great responsibility, but it's also something you can completely control. Mm -hmm. You have the complete power to keep your kiddo as safe as possible in a crash and to keep them in a proper breathing position. Yep. And practicing is like your absolute way to do that. So kudos to you. Thanks okay. for like being on camera with me, <laughs> doing it for the first time. Yeah. I know that's also like a really vulnerable thing to do, but you did fantastic. Yeah. Practice a couple more times and you're good to go. Excellent. I hope you all found this video helpful and like major props to you too for, um, you know, just like I said, being vulnerable, doing this all on camera, on YouTube for the world to see. If you did learn something, drop it in the comments below. We'd love to know. Make sure you like the video as well and subscribe to the channel. We have so many resources for you from infants to big kids. Let us help you in any way we can and we'll see you in the next video.